What's up, y'all? B Dub is back. Hunter x Hunter 2011 episode 91 anime review. Let's get started. B Dub, the anime master. 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 Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go. Okay, Hunter x Hunter is now officially my favorite fucking anime series as of 2013. This episode was beyond what the fuckery. I mean, holy shit, man. The king has been born. And then, hold on, hold on. The king was born too early. I mean, the queen was like, you know, hold on a second. He was like, silence, bitch. I'm coming out this motherfucker. And he came out of that shit. The queen is all fucked up and blood spitting out of her mouth and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Everybody's running towards the queen and they see the king and he makes this, this kind of blank face at first. But then he has a little smirk and then he starts killing motherfuckers. Peggy was like trying to help the queen. And then he used his tail and cut his fucking head off. Just exploded his shit. I was like, what the fuck? Then he told Colt. He said, hey, you, wash this shit off. And then the other guy, I forget his name. He had the turtle uh, hunchback, whatever the fuck. He said, I have a handkerchief right here. Pfft. Dead. I, I was like... You're killing your own people, you, your soldiers. What the fuck are you doing? This king is fucking ruthless, man. I'm like, holy fuck. You know? I mean, the hype surrounding this character getting ready to be born, the humans and the powers and whatnot, all the personalities and everything, I knew he was going to be super strong and, and a beast, but god damn. And now Colt, he's, um, he, 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 he went to Moral and Nove surrendered told them the story about can you please help the queen and everything and they they for to take him to the chairman of the hunter association and all the other chimera ants are trying to build their own kingdoms now it's like the queen's gonna die we gonna do our own shit you know and uh nefropito and the other royal guard members uh they they set up the the whole um they set up a meal for the king he doesn't like it He's spitting out the food, and they go on a search. And one of the most fucked up parts of this episode was when they came down on this farm, and then the king has chopped off this this the, this little girl or little boy, I think it was a girl, uh, family's uh, heads, just ch chopped the bitches off. He fucking ate parts of them, and he was like, Puh, disgusting. And I'm like, what? this dude, this king is ridiculous, man. Nefropito giving him the advice and shit to uh, find the rare humans because um, the king wants to have that um, taste of rare humans. And, you know, uh, the fucking king, he stabs the little girl in the chest and then he starts to eat her brains and then the king has smacked the shit out of uh, Nefropito. I'm like, yo, this dude, holy shit, man. This is probably the most overpowered character in anime of all time I mean so far but goddamn he's fucking beast man now getting to the cons of this episode you know why the fuck did they skip the Gon and Killua knuckle and shoot fight now if it happened like that in the manga I can understand why they copied the same thing but why did they show the fight why did they show how the outcomes went out. They did show a little bit of an outcome of Gon's battle, I think. A small little scene where his interest went really high in the hundred thousands or whatever, but or tens of thousands, whatever. But uh like, why did they skip the fight? It's like they skipped the fights and they are both not going to the NGL? What the fuck? I mean that came out of nowhere. I expected Gon to win this fight and Killer would lose and Killer would be left behind. But they're but they but they are both left behind. 
I was like, damn, they both got left behind? But it's like, they're both not going to NGL. And I'm, I was totally surprised by that. And showing the king's power and how ruthless he is, even to his own people, it's like, Knuckles, shoot, the chairman, Moral, Nove, they not, they're, they're not, they're gonna fucking die. <laughs> I assume they're all gonna fucking die. Who's gonna come in and take on these Chimera ants? Where the hell is Karapika? Now, nah, that's, that's, now, nah, he'll die too. I mean, who's gonna come in and take out the Chimera ants? Who? Gon and Killua can't do shit now because Gon's uh, nim abilities is locked away for 30 days. And then Killua said that he, it, it's, Killer was said that it's bye bye, it's goodbye. I mean, after he protects Gon for the thirty days, I think that last battle with uh, Shoot really affected him. Going off what uh, Bisky said about you know, you have to leave Gon's side if you're you know still going to be a punk and etc. Pretty much. But man, this episode was epic beyond words. Hunter X Hunter twenty eleven, my new favorite anime series. As of 2013. Fucking awesome. My final thoughts. Great episode. Great introduction to the king. Very epic moments. Fucked up moments. Cruel moments. I can't wait. I cannot fucking wait. This arc is epic. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm B-Dub the Anime Master. And that was my review for Hunter x Hunter. 2011 episode 91. Peace. Be the, the anime One master. Piece. Here we go. The anime master. Nigga. Dragon Ball Z. The anime master. Here we go. The anime master.